in this video I shall I shall be coding regular falsy method I have pulled up this page from Wikipedia it says the other name of regular falsy method is false position method well uh, <clears throat> let me see if I can get hold of a formula uh, then it would be easier for you people to um to get a grasp of it actually I, I have a book in front of me and i can refer the formula from this book let's see mm, yeah this one this is a formula so c means the root equal to b minus f of b divided by f of b minus f of a into b minus a yep this is the formula which i'm going to use as well well <coughs> um and there's one thing that has to be kept in mind is yeah this one f of a into f of b must be less than zero only then we can execute this formula we have to keep executing this formula um so that we can find the degree of accuracy um, based on a degree of accuracy um, in my example I'm going to execute this formula at, at least 15 times um, in this video I will be coding this from scratch and I have no idea how to go about it I mean I, I know the coding skills but um, I don't have any um, I don't have any source code open in front of me so that I can refer from it so it's going to be completely from scratch okay let's begin let's begin with stdio.h I hope the font size is good enough then con io then let's begin with word main sorry int main return 0 ok this is done now um, actually I'm going to um, I'm going to ask the user to input the initial two terms I mean the A and B term here this A and B term this B and this A term I'm going to ask the user to and yeah, I can find this via code but it's going to be additional overhead and I want to keep this thing pretty simple so um, I need some I need these two variables let's make them float a comma B okay then I need the formula uh, I mean I need that equation also so let's do something float f because f is a function of course um, it's going to have a parameter of course um, the function which I'm going to be using is x cube minus 2x minus 5 so it's going to be having a parameter float x at this moment I'm going to pause I'm going to stop this video I'm going to, I'm going to hear my own sound and I'm going to see if everything is okay or not so just hold on okay everything is good enough now let's begin our function is um, x cube minus 2x minus 5 so return x into x into x that's x cube minus 2 into x minus 5 okay this is our function 
now we need to input all these that's a and b so void input it's not going to have any arguments here printf enter a and b um, then scanf person d person d comma and person a and person b this is how we can enter a and b from the user now um what next now let's dive into the actual code i mean the actual function to execute all this just hold on just give me a sec um uh okay come on um actually i'm going to <coughs> find the values of fa and fb before um continue continuing with anything else so um let's save those two values in um y1 and y2 why y1 and y2 because y1 is for a and y2 is for b um it would be better if i could do like f of um fxn and fxn minus one but um there's some problem with the naming that's why anyways so y1 equal to uh, i hope it's getting recorded Um, yep, it is getting recorded. So y1 equal to f of a and y2 is equal to f of b. Okay, so next, um, <coughs> next, um, let's find um, f of xn. Um, f of x n plus 1 uh, means the uh, the root actually uh, that is find the root uh, of these two numbers so um, it's going to be float um, it's going to return something which whose data type is going to be float then um, what's going to be the name um let's say um root but it's not the root in a true sense there's to be more iterations to this to actually find the root anyways um root do we need any input um do i need an input no i don't need any input it's going to return it's going to return b minus something and that something is consisting of two terms um, the second one is b minus a sorry a b minus a and the first one is f of x n means f of b that's y2 y2 divided by y2 divided by um, y2 minus y1 y2 minus y1 so the formula is b minus f of b divided by f of b minus f of a whole multiplication b minus a that's what i uh, that's what i have done here so this is the root i'll need this this root thing and after this um let's for let's code the method actually 
float answer let's say does it need an input um no it doesn't again um it's going to be like this like um i'm going to iterate for let's say um uh, 50 times because it's a computer and 50 times is not much of an issue so 50 i'm sorry that's in type then uh just hold on let's, i need to think about this for a minute um actually i have this table in front of me actually it's a book and it's an example here and there's a table in front of me number of iteration then f of x and minus one that's a then b then y y1 then y2 then root then um, f of root okay uh, let's let's uh, write the for loop actually for i equal to one i less than equal to 50 i plus plus sorry two plus then uh root let's find the root so uh float r that's our root initially let's assign it to zero so r equal to root okay this is our root now now um f of root so fr means f of root equal to zero so f of root is equal to uh what's going to be f of root oh uh, uh, um oh yeah f of root is going to be f of f uh, f okay there's an error let's see what the error is um, called object is not a function which one what are they talking about on this one l value required as left of line 30 yeah, this is what i was thinking actually because um that's why i uh, i actually compiled this because like um you know like f is the function name right um so oh i'm so sorry it was r so r equal to root and uh, f of r now i hope you don't get that error okay we are getting some error what's the error line 21 error called object is not a function okay which object am i calling uh Okay, okay, okay. Multiplication sign. Name is the multiplication sign. That's why. Okay, fine. So, um, this is working. I mean, it's okay till now. R equal to root, and f of root is equal to this thing. Now we have to check something here. Um, and that is like if f of root um like uh, that like now our root will be the new a or b now what is what is it going to be a root is going to be a or root is going to be b what um for that like we have to make sure that a and b is always less than zero whatever satisfies this that will be our new a or b like in the example which i can see in front of me a is 2 and b is 3 and root is minus 1 i mean i'm mean, just stop it and see if i am, my voice is getting recorded or not um i don't know till how much it got recorded okay what's going on um anyways um i think um the recording is done and shit how many of them are working about it? 
um anyways uh, like um if you think <coughs> uh, i missed anything like actually there's person d here i just replaced with person f and uh, i commented out all these print up lines and everything is working perfectly now so two and three uh, is get the answer so i hope you like this video and um do hit the like button if you like if you don't like do curse me thank you